guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, and in this video we're going to show you the new Samsung Omnia ROM, which is actually quite good and brings a lot of new widgets. Uh, for those of you keeping track, this is the DZIA5 ROM. Last time we made a video about this, it was the DXH J1 ROM. Um, now we're actually giving away a Samsung Omnia at PocketNow.com. All you have to do is subscribe to our Twitter feed at Twitter.com slash PocketNowTweets. And on Friday, which is... May 14th, we will post a link in our Twitter that will link to a registration area, and that is where you enter the contest, so watch out for that. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you are the new widgets that come on the new uh, Omnia ROM. And if you're, if you're not familiar with the Omnia, the home screen has all of these widgets, so you can drag them to the right, you can move them around, and then you can bring them back to the sidebar here and then put them away if you don't want to see them. Now, if we scroll down the line here, we'll start to see some new widgets. We've covered all of these before in previous videos, but there are some new ones here. Let's take a look. This one in particular is new, although it's very simple. It's simply a link to your messaging application. So I'm going to close that and bring it back. Nothing too interesting there. The next one is new. It's the AccuWeather widget. And it actually works very well, and it keeps everything within the, uh, the TouchWiz interface. So here we have the, the temperature in Philadelphia. If I tap on that, it will bring me to another screen, which will show me a really nice forecast of what's going on in my area. And I can actually have multiple cities. So I've also entered New York. So if I go to the left there, I see New York is overcast. We can choose how often it updates, and I have it updating every six hours. And we can go to Edit to add the cities that we want. And it looks like you can have about six cities there. So pretty neat weather widget there. And the last city that you look at will be the city that is shown up on that shows up on the screen here. So I'm going to bring that back over to the side here. The next widget is CNN.com, which is basically just a news widget. And what you can do here is you see a headline and you tap on it if you want to learn more about it. And then you get into this kind of CNN.com application where we can go to Top Stories tab, over to the right, World News, over to the right again, World Business, and if you tap on any of these, it will open up Opera Mobile, and you'll see the story at CNN.com. It would have been nice if it all stayed within the same interface and didn't have to launch Opera Mobile, uh, but I guess we can't have everything. Okay, and let's get out of there and look at the next widget. The next widget is one that we've been asking for a lot, and it's the stocks widget. Finally, we have a widget to track our stocks, although these days you probably don't want to track them. So this kind of operates like the weather widget. So we can tap on um, this, the, the, the ticker there, and then we see the stocks that we are tracking right now. We can add stocks and have multiple stocks. If we click over to the left, it'll show the indice, so the Dow Jones Industrial Average. And if you tap on any of these, You'll get a more detailed view that will show you a graph of what's been going on with the stock. Like so. This, is, this actually is kind of reminiscent of TouchFlow 3D stocks. So you can, uh, it, it uses Yahoo to find the stock charts and it shows you the highs and the lows and you can um, check out the graph of the stock. Pretty neat, all within the, the whole interface here. We're not actually going out to Opera Mobile or anything like that. Okay, and let's put that back. And if we go down the line, we have one for G, which is actually just a plain old Google search bar, which is cool. So you tap in there, and you will get a keyboard. You can type your search query. It'll launch Opera Mobile. And if you don't like Google, but you like Yahoo, the same widget exists, but for Yahoo. And you can choose whether you're searching for international or based on whatever country you are in. Now, there is another widget that is actually called the More Widgets button, and it, it actually doesn't work, unfortunately. Um, so if you tap on it, it brings up a search bar, and I'm not even sure what to search for here. I mean, uh, I, I'd like to see a list of all the widgets available, but because I get this network connection error and I have a full Wi-Fi signal, this tells me that this isn't set up yet, and hopefully Samsung will be expanding this into the future. The Omnia is a very popular device, and uh, there are other devices that actually use this widget interface, so I expect them to expand even more on the widgets. So some good improvements on the widgets. We still don't have next appointment. I think that's the most necessary uh, widget to have so that you can look quickly on your screen and see where you're supposed to be at that time. One other thing that I want to show you in this video that has been added to this newest ROM on the Samsung Omnia. And it is called Favorite Settings. And you can actually access this too if you press the side button over there. And you just saw the screen animation. Oh, let me turn it back the other way. 
You can actually access this favorite settings much quicker if you touch the side button and you tap on favorite settings right here. So basically what this does is it puts uh, certain device functions at your fingertips that you would usually take several menu options to go through to get to. So we have sound. And from here, we can adjust this, the, the system sound. We can change the ring all from this screen. We can change the profile and that sort of thing. Very touch-friendly interface. It's great. Click on display. We can change our theme. Uh, power will show us the power options. You can flick your finger to go down if there are any other options. We go to memory. It shows you how much memory is being used right now. And we can uh, hard reset the device from this screen. If we flick our finger to the right, we get a lot of switches here. So we can turn on flight mode, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi. We can turn on and off the motion sensor so that when you turn your screen this way, it will either rotate or it'll not rotate. <laughs> that was a crazy animation there. Turn on etiquette mode, which will use the motion sensor to mute the device when you put it down on its face, kind of like some of the HTC devices. Um, we have flashlight mode, which is a very quick way to turn on the flashlight. And mouse, which will turn on and off the optical mouse, and USB mode, which will uh, determine the behavior of what happens when you plug it into your computer. So really great addition, I think, to the, uh, the, the Omnia to make it very easy to change certain things about the device without having to dig into a lot of menus. So that's pretty much it for the ROM update on the Samsung Omnia. I think this is probably the best ROM update yet. Uh, it adds a lot of widgets. It adds the ability to hopefully have even more widgets in the future, and we can uh, get to that screen quite easily that allows us to change certain things about our device without having to dig into a lot of menus. So that's it for now. Like I said, we're giving away a Samsung Omnia on PocketNow.com. All you have to do is follow us on Twitter, twitter.com slash PocketNowTweets, and on March 13th, 2009, we will post a link on uh, that will point to a registration page. So that is it for now.